Welcome everybody, welcome to this exciting Border Amateur League Division B clash between Gala Hotspur in blue and Bigger United in red and black. Again, I've managed to secure international exclusive broadcasting rights with the cunning and negotiating tactic of being the only person willing to turn up. Home match for Gal Hotspur, they're second in the table. I guess it's probably probably still nil-nil. We are at the, the Gala end. Gala are shooting right to left. That's the Gala keeper there. So we're at Gala's defensive end. And uh, Bigger are shooting this way. In modern football, they're, you know, they're so mollycoddled and they're paid such high wages and uh, uh, it's awful, isn't it? Well, it's a perfect pitch. It's uh, it's totally uh, brand new technology, non artificial uh, pitch. Uh, it's six G. Um, the pitch, excellent, top top class. Top quality surface. Imagine how many uh, how many new fans uh, Gala and Bigger are getting around the world from this exclusive international coverage of their of their match. Ready for the free kick to come in, and in it goes. When it goes, well done. Was that straight in? I think it might have been. Good stuff. Good free kick that. So I think that's one all. Oh, that's a one team's goal count is bigger than the other. Like you the head. <laughs> Top quality comments like that that I'm here for. You can see the stands now starting to fill up the uh, the disabled section up there, um, getting full. Hopefully these kids on sco scooters and bikes don't uh, launch a pitch invasion. So obviously this is the uh, the main stand here. This is where all the home fans gather. Traditionally, of course, you can see how um, all the fans are standing using the uh, the designated standing areas. The uh, the seats, although provided, they're shunned by the the, the proper fans. I'll keep the uh, ball at the puddle. Oh, ho, ho. ooh, ooh. The undercover police are infiltrating the crowd, of course, to, to try to keep them under control. Oh, 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 no. Normally, the commentators don't have to do the camera work as well. So I'm on double duty here, you understand. Oh. Now, can he come forward? Yes, he can. Can he put in a shot? No. Oh, the mad. Hello, Andrew, and welcome, gentlemen, football fans, to this the uh, highlight of the season: Gala Hotspur so versus Bigger United game. So far, the highlight of the season. Um, playing, of course, in the Gala home stadium. In the public park. That's right. That's right. That's right. And Gala, of course, are playing in blue, ladies and gentlemen. Correct. And they always they'll, do. They'll be hoping to score a goal from this situation now. <laughs> Ideally, yes. Ooh, ooh. Well, oh, oh! If if that had gone in the net, oh. it would have been a goal. Oh, it's a it's a foul. The referee's it blowing his whistle to indicate a foul has occurred. For people watching in black and white, the referee is of course all in black. Yes, correct. <laughs> For people watching in black and white, it's Gala in blue and. Uh... Bigger in red. So, yeah, Arsenal County, 60,000 attendance. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is the attendance here uh, this afternoon. What's the score as you're going to half time, Andrew? The score is, unless there are any uh, goals scored in the first ten minutes, I believe it's one all. One so, all. Um, you'll one join all me again. For the second half, oh, one all to Gala Hotspur. That's absolutely correct. A marvelous, uh, a marvelous uh, draw at the moment uh, for the home team.
a hotly anticipated game of the season, ladies and gentlemen, at, at the Gala Hotspur Stadium. Uh, it's Gala Hotspur versus Bigger United. I'm just looking up interesting Gala Hotspur facts, and on this webpage, oh. nobody has inputted any interesting facts about Gala Hotspur. Um, and, and I'm pulling oversight, I cannot imagine. Um, well, I assume it's... Um... Due to the bigger United fans um, uh, conducting a distributed denial of service attack on the Gala Hotspur website, and I think that ball has gone into the children's play park, as so often happens in uh, top flight football. Hopefully, our outside. camera team yeah. will be able to zoom into any goal action on the other half. Hopefully, so, unless our camera team decides to walk down to the other side of the pitch, which I think it might do. And I'm just reading an article from 2016. Uh, Gala Hotspur has called for people not to let their dogs foul on the pitch. Yes. Well, I haven't been fouling on the pitch myself yet, uh, but if the ball gets kicked too hard up this way, you never know. To the Blues. Uh, it is indeed, yes. Uh, up that way. The fans call them the Cyans, of course. They do, those of us who are in the know. Lovely sliding interception there. Brought forward. Uh, oh, but the whistle is that... blows. Uh, just wondering, yes, and is certainly a free kick. One hand up in the air. Mm -hmm. Yes, like you just don't care. First broadcast, of course, sponsored by Greggs. Oh, and the Blues on the ball there, kicking it towards the goal. Oh, it's gone in the air. Yeah. That's not the result they you wanted. Can you can see the sky supporting uh, Gala. Today, of course, the sky very much bigger except when it's the end of days. Correct. On the 28th of January, I can report that Scala Hot Spare had the soft feeling of a new changing room carpet, which contributes to their twinkle toes being nice and relaxed before their game against Coldstream. The uh, board pumping money into the club, of course. Um, the Hutchison's carpets were the uh, the generous supplier of uh, of the new carpet. And the Reds goalie picks up the ball. Uh, the Reds goalie is of course dressed in green. Uh, I think you'll find that is the uh, Blues goalie there. Uh, of course, as we know, the Mad. Um, I hate to correct you. Um, you're you're a true professional, of course. You won't mind me. Uh, you won't mind me picking you up on that, uh, but we are at the Gal Hotswar end at the moment. I have to admit, I, I was testing you, Andrew, and you passed. I'm pleased to hear. We're just here for the for the beauty of the game, and there is no game more beautiful than Gal Hotswar against Bigger United. And news just in, I can report that it was Alan Jeffrey Carpet who floored the changing room of Gal Hotspur. Was it really Jeffrey's carpets? That's uh, very informative, thank you, Ned, but please don't call me Justin. <laughs> Surely you can't be serious. <laughs> it's time for the, the Blues green goalie to throw the ball and then put it on the floor ready for a kick. Correct, for a goal kick. And here goes, kick. Across the field it goes and down. And the Reds have it, and it's passed across to another Red. Uh, the Reds running along, um, not to be confused with the Reds of 1950s America. Yeah, this is a different Red. Um, <laughs> well, there are suspicions about the political affiliations of Bigger. Um, they do wear red for a reason, um, but I cannot comment. Um, but, of course, Up the Reds is a dual-purpose slogan. It's actually triple-purpose, um, but we shall go into that. Must be a free kick oh, to the sounds. The background there, having a swing to possibly to try and get a better view of the game, <laughs> or a worse view of the game. From time to time, and it's kick time. Oh, kick. There we go. The ball flies across the air. It's heading towards the player. Blue misses it, but runs after it. Another blue gets it, and the whistle goes to indicate they should stop playing. Briefly, not permanently, just only. Temporarily until oh, they can kick it again. Absolutely. Not a call for retirement, just a call for a momentary stop of play. 
Slightly pushed, shot, but oh, saved nicely and say. held by the Blues keeper. Despite the on rushing attack, come on, bigger. Keeper will be very happy to have stopped that ball from going in the net there. That is the entire purpose of his job. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's incisive. Uh, it, it, well, of course, you the former professional med here, um, he, he knows, uh, he, he can give us all of these brilliant insights into the game, such as why there is a goalkeeper. And I can report that um, Gala Hotspur on the 19th of December wished that sponsor Norman McIver of Nicky's Bar a very happy birthday. <laughs> Most of these uh, players, of course, will be regulars at Nicky's Bar. Uh, we can see uh, over here on the uh, on the bigger technical area, and see the coaching staff. There's the uh, there's the manager of bigger. He's uh, sometimes known as um, Alex Ferguson of the border. Li oh, sorry, no, not Alex Ferguson. I'm sorry, uh, Sheila Ferguson of the Ferguson. border league. Possibly Sarah Ferguson as well, <laughs> mostly known for uh, for his uh, sister sledge drag tribute act, um, and for uh, and for getting married at Western Valley as well. And in some some background on the other team, I can report that the surname Bigger is the one hundred sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty third most popular surname in the world. That's splendid information there. Thank you very much. I think I worked out the attendance is 13, Chucky. 13. Let's hope that's a lucky 13 for Gala Hotspur. I'm looking at Team Facts website now for Bigger United, and yes. uh, it says there are no facts added. All oh, right. Bigger United being, of course, a fictional team. Yeah, referee's not happy with something. It's his haircut. The Blues are on the ball. Oh, oh marvellous kick there. You attempted to get it in the window of that house, but just failing on four. I think the manager is now telling him he needs to put the ball in between those white posts. I think that's possibly correct. That That is indeed where it's going wrong. He needs to brush up on his how to play football manual. This is the uh, bigger goalkeeper about to take this goal kick. The big, up it goes. The bigger goalkeeper, of course, wearing all black, not to be confused with the referee. Hopefully, he won't take advantage of that. Yes, yeah, so you can tell the difference because, of course, the keeper is wearing red socks. They're very natty, they are as well. Still, you have to think all he needs to do is whip off those socks and start making decisions in favour of his own team. <laughs> In other news, I've accidentally clicked onto the Galashiers Golf Club website. Well, do tell us about them, please. Well, it's a premier nine-hole course in Galashiers, originally an 18-hole course, established in 1884 and designed by James Braid around the Ladhope Burn. Yes, the Ladhope Burn being a particularly attractive part of town, as we know. Uh, you'll often find me on the Gala Golf Course, not playing golf, obviously. I'm not no. that sort of person at all. It's the other flag, of course. Flags are necessary in the game of football. Yes, they are. They uh, accidentally do occasionally spell out rude things in semaphore. Um, but I can assure you it is entirely accidental. I've just discovered there's a Welsh player called Dan Bigger. I don't believe he plays for Bigger United. More news on that as we get it. <laughs> Appreciate that very much. Uh, you can see the ball being held up in the massive puddle there. Uh, deliberately placed there, the uh, the groundskeeper was out water, uh, watering the path at half time for that purpose. And that wet ball is bound to discourage the, the Gala team from heading the ball too much. As will their lack of skill. Now the, the audience are almost storming the pitch from this angle. I think most most usually um, the audience is referred to as the crowd or, uh, or the fans, perhaps. 
Um, but it's got it's, it's, it's rare nowadays. Nowadays, of course, you're a traditionalist, but it's rare nowadays for them to be referred to as the audience. Of course, Gala have a tradition of calling their fans the audience because every game is like a gala event. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in other news, my tablet has frozen. So I'll just be resetting that, Hope, and then we'll be. Hopefully, we'll get more interesting, incisive uh, knowledge uh, later on. Uh, it's at least one all. I haven't seen any more goals than that, Richard. Um, the scoreboard, the electronic scoreboard, of course, is is on loan to um, some kids in the park today. The, uh, the electronic scoreboard is indicating the time at the moment, but it isn't actually uh, showing the score. Uh, that's good. 15-16 would be an impressive score for both teams. <laughs> would it? <laughs> be disappointed for Gala to lose 16 goals at home, however. Oh, it's getting furiously <laughs> Does your watch say the temperature at the moment, Andrew? Uh, I think it might do. If I can refer it to do that, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, it says four degrees. Four degrees. I want to see if I can take shelter over at the other end of the uh, other end of the ground, possibly stand behind the wall in the hope that the wind won't <laughs> be too bad over there. That man standing on his own there is the bigger crowd who have come to watch. Indeed. So. <laughs> A massive travelling support, as always, with Bigger. I can reveal I'm just typing Bigger United into Google. Just be careful how you're spelling that. And Bigger are Scottish Rugby Club of the Season 2019. Is it? That'll be helpful. I'd be very surprised if that was an entirely accurate statement. And now, bigger RFC are the Scottish Rugby Club of the Season 2019. Let's see. Wow. It is a time up for this. Well, I have decided that owing to, uh, <laughs> owing to the uh, weather conditions here, uh, <laughs> here at, at the public park in Gala, it is... Um, Unfortunately, far too cold to continue with the commentary of this match. My hands are almost frozen. Uh, I so, feel okay, Andrew. I, I could carry on. Could you really? <laughs> so I'm afraid. Well, let's just see if this is a goal. No, it's not. Bad oh, luck. and he catches it. A good attempt. Uh, a good attempt. Of course, not a handball when it's the goalie doing that. Absolutely correct. Again, it's that wonderful insight uh, that, um, that you're here for. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the noises of Andrew Sipri. <laughs> that was a good shot. I thought you were oh. going to catch that, but nope. Deciding, deciding merely to uh, merely to allow the defence to intercept. And Gallo will be happy to have not conceded a goal there. They will indeed. They'll be over the moon right at the match. Right, I'm going I'm going to I'm going to leave the ground. It is officially too cold for um, Ladies and gentlemen for, uh, continue commentary. Our camera crew are refusing to continue. <laughs> Correct. I have uh, conducted a late weather inspection and my opinion is the weather is unacceptable for the commentators. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, I shall update you on the score if I can be bothered. This has been the Gala Hotspur in blue versus the Bigger United in red. Absolutely correct. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Shoo-bye. Ta-ta.